University of Tokyo. Uh, our system uh, was mainly developed by the first of Mr. Senko. Uh, he is an uh, undergraduate student at the uh, IIT and uh, he uh, is now working uh, intern at the uh, Virtual Tech. Um, I'm sorry that uh, he uh, couldn't come here, so instead of him, so I present. So if you have detailed comments, uh, detailed questions, so please ask, uh, please email. So uh, this is our pipeline of uh, this classification and the localization test. Uh, consists of two systems. Uh, one is uh, RCNM based systems, and the other is a uh, vision vector based system. Uh, from the RCNM based system, uh, we can uh, obtain the uh, uh, class course for each vision. Um, from the vision based system, uh, we can obtain the contextual score for each image. Uh, those scores are uh, fused uh, lately and uh, we uh, get the final score. Um, another um, key point, another um, novel part of our system is a multi class object detection with a have negative classes. Um, I will uh, explain uh, this multi class object detection uh, later in this presentation. Okay, first, I explain the region proposal and the uh, feature extraction. Um, this is uh, not new. We uh, we just uh, using the uh, RGN uh, software. Um, using uh, we use it in default setting. Um, so uh, we use a selective search for the region proposal, and for the CN feature, we use uh, only single CN model, and we use a uh, pre-computed uh, ILSVLC uh, certain model, and we didn't uh, retrain this model, and we didn't. Uh, Fine-tune this one. So we uh, just uh, extract the feature from the FC, FC7. Uh, so we use uh, about a 4,000 uh, feature for our system. Uh, for the uh, object detection, so how negative is very very important. Um, uh, so um, we uh, use the core idea. Our core idea is to create a. Uh, negative classes and train on the two key classes. Um, this uh, method is uh, to minimize the prediction errors and as well as classification errors. And our uh, method is based on the passive aggressive algorithm with higher negative mind. Uh, before explaining the our multi class object prediction method, uh, I first uh, explain the online learning in the multi class setting. Uh, if there are k uh, classes uh, to classify, so we prepare the k uh, weight vectors. So if we pick uh, one grain sample, uh, the weight vector of the positive class uh, is uh, updated uh, like uh, uh, with um, um, Parseton like method. So uh, after that, uh, we uh, classify uh, this uh, input training sample, and we obtain the all scores of uh, all classes. Then we uh, find the negative class with the highest score, and uh, wait, uh, we update the weight vector of the negative class with the highest score. Uh, is uh, updated uh, like uh, <coughs> with uh, using the classical like algorithm. So, um, um, negative is uh, very, very important uh, to uh, improve the um, localization accuracy. Uh, but uh, defining the final negative in, in the large class setting is not straightforward. Um, so, the simple idea to uh, defining the final negative uh, is uh, uh, to prepare the single background class. Uh, but it doesn't work uh, because uh, it is uh, so the universal uh, background class or the all positive class uh, does not uh, exist. Uh, so uh, we propose a uh, uh, negative class for each uh, positive class. So we have to solve the 2K uh, classes uh, classification problem for the large class object detection. The next question is how to train the uh, 
uh, those 2K class uh, classifiers. So uh, when we pick up the one training uh, sample, so if this training sample is positive, uh, positive sample of class two, uh, the positive uh, the weight vector of the positive class uh, class two is updated with like a classical like manner. So um, candidates of the negative class uh, are uh, one, two, blah blah, and K. Uh, uh, positive classes and uh, uh, negative class too. So among those uh, candidates, uh, we find a negative class with the highest score. Then the uh, the weight vector of the negative class with the highest score is updated like the uh, possible like uh, So this uh, procedure reduces the classification error. Then we pick up the training sample. Uh, this training sample is a negative sample of class 2. So we uh, update the uh, weight vector of the negative class uh, uh, in this manner. And uh, we also update the uh, weight vector of the negative class, uh, like a uh, like manner. So this uh, procedure reduces uh, uh, detection errors. So we are repeating the reduction of the detection and the classification errors. So we train the uh, large class object uh, vector. So for the um, Fisher vector based system, uh, we uh, improve the Fisher vector. So this uh, setting is uh, very standard. Uh, we just to use the one uh, local district sheet. And the parameter of the improved Fisher vector is also uh, Standard, so the dimension of our uh, local feature is 64 and the uh, number of components is uh, 256. And uh, we use a spatial pyramid, and the uh, final dimension of Fisher vector is 260,000 uh, dimension. Uh, in the cross figure in the Fisher vector based system, uh, we use the uh, average, average much plus passive average, passive average algorithm. Uh, because the efficiency of averaging and the large class setting for large scale visual recognition uh, was uh, surveyed uh, in our CDPR paper. So uh, we have uh, compared uh, many state of art online algorithms uh, with uh, uh, conventional uh, online algorithms like Parseton and the static gradient descent SVMs. Uh, through this um, Experiment. We uh, we find uh, three guidelines. The one is uh, this is I think uh, this is interesting. The first first from can compete against the latest methods. Um, second is the average is necessary for any algorithm. And uh, third is uh, investing in, in investigate much faster than first. Uh, if you're interested in this uh, uh, paper, so uh, please uh, uh, refer to our CV paper. Um, this uh, slide shows a light vision uh, from the LCM vehicle system. So we can obtain the uh, 1,000 class scores for each bounding box uh, from the visual vector system. So we uh, obtain the context scores for each image. So uh, we multiply the LCM based scores uh, with the uh, uh, visual ve vector based uh, scores. So uh, we obtain the final score for each uh, body box. So this is the experimental results uh, of our system. Um, if we uh, use the uh, RCM features uh, with one versus of SVM without hard negative mining, uh, localization error is about uh, 0.63. So uh, we replace the one versus of SVM, the average mass plus passive average set. Uh, we obtain the uh, 0 0.45 uh, localization error. That's nice. Uh, if we use the uh, RCM feature plus uh, large plus passive algorithm using parameter properties, uh, which was uh, uh, which I explained uh, previous slide, the uh, localization error is 0 0.39. Uh, it's better. Then um, by the system, so we combine the RCM based uh, system with the uh, 
which affect the first system, we obtain the uh, localization error 0.34. So um, for the, this is a uh, uh, result of the variation of the data set, uh, for the test data set, so we obtain the same results uh, as the variation of data set, how <laughs> do you get uh, 0.34 uh, uh, localization error? So I think um, it's not bad because we uh, only use a very simple um, CM feature and uh, visual vector. So this is conclusion. So uh, there are three uh, features of uh, our pipeline. One is uh, we use the uh, CM based uh, system and uh, uh, a visual vector system and the uh, RGC and best uh, region proposal and the feature with smart class object detector which create a nice class for each body class and the uh, third is the uh, future of region score and the global score uh, through this uh, trial so we find a combination uh, RCM with uh, contextual information the visual vector system improve the localization performance and the uh, smart class object detector uh, trend with high negative classes uh, performs well versus the rest as well Yeah, so I, I have to, so, uh, ever. Hey,